Bird is a dockless scooter share company based in Santa Monica, California. Founded in September 2017, Bird operates electric scooters in over 100 cities throughout North America, Europe, and Asia, with 10 million rides in its first year of operation. In 2018, Bird was named one of Time Magazine's 50 Genius Companies, and one of the most sought after startups in the United States, according to LinkedIn. Topic History. Bird was founded in 2017 by Travis Vanderzanden, formerly an executive at Lyft and at Uber. It had its Series A round of funding in February 2018, raising $15 million led by Kraft Ventures. This was followed by a Series B round in March for $100 million, led by Index Ventures and Valor Equity Partners, and a venture round in May for $150 million from Sequoia Capital, becoming the fastest company to ever reach the $1 billion. Unicorn valuation. One month later, in June 2018, Bird raised an additional $300 million, valuing the company at $2 billion. Topic: <laughs> Equipment. Most of their scooters in their fleet are obtained from either the Chinese manufacturers Ninebot Segway ES2 or ES4 or Xiaomi Mi Series M365. The Xiaomi M365 can obtain speeds up to 25 km per hour, 16 miles per hour with a range of 30 km 19 miles using a 36 V 7800 mAh lithium-ion battery pack. In October 2018, Bird announced the development of its own scooter model, described as the industry's first electric scooter specifically designed for ridesharing. <laughs> Chargers Bird scooters are charged by gig workers, private contractors, who sign up to be chargers. The company sends them charging equipment, and pays them between $3 and $20 to charge the scooters overnight, then place them at designated nests throughout the service area in the morning. Charging can become competitive, with chargers using vans to pick up scooters all over the city. Given the widely distributed nature of the scooters, this kind of charging system is essential to making the economics of the system work. The amount of money that Bird gives the independent contractors for charging a particular scooter is dependent on how long the scooter had been sitting out on the street after being flagged for needing a charge and before the charger reflags the scooter in an app to claim the bounty. A typical bounty issued is usually between $5 and $6 per scooter. Chargers also lose 50% of their bounties if they fail to return fully charged scooters by their 7 a.m. deadline and enter the information into an app. Once the bounty is claimed, the contractor is responsible for the scooter until it is returned to a drop-off point and checked in. If the scooter is not properly checked in or goes missing, the contractor could be fired and have the value of the scooter deducted. A fully discharged scooter may take as long as five hours to recharge. 
contractors need to pay Bird $10 apiece for each charging unit. In September 2018, the minimum amount that Bird paid chargers in Kansas City dropped from $5 to $3 per scooter. Bird tries to catch dishonest contractors via GPS by looking for large accumulations of scooters in non-public areas, such as in private homes and basements or in the backs of pickup trucks and vans. During one week in July 2018, Bird terminated contracts with between 60 to 70 chargers who were caught cheating in San Jose. In some areas, competition between rival contractors have resulted in violence and in at least one case had involved firearms. Topic: Controversy Topic: Conflicts with municipal and other local authorities. The company launched its scooters in San Francisco without obtaining the appropriate permits. After the city filed a cease and desist order in June 2018, Bird scooters were temporarily removed from San Francisco. In many cities, Bird has been fined for operating a business without a license, failure to follow various business zoning laws, or for allowing parked scooters to accumulate outside of designated area in such a way that would block sidewalks. A San Francisco supervisor called the company executives a bunch of spoiled brats", and a Milwaukee alderman said that the executives take a very defiant position they're taking as if laws don't matter, they don't apply to us, we're going to do what we please, when we please. <laughs> Illegal parking The company's business model encourages illegal parking. Unlike car rental agencies, Bird does not pass impound fees and parking tickets to customers who illegally park their rental scooter, so there are no financial incentives for a scooter customer to look for a legal parking spot. A charge of 15 cents per minute might even be enough incentive for a customer to simply abandon the scooter immediately outside of their destination, without regards to other pedestrians. <laughs> <laughs> Vandalism to abandon scooters The scooters have become a target of vandalism. People in San Francisco have been throwing the scooters into trees, or even the San Francisco Bay. Some vandals have even gone to the extreme of smearing the scooters with feces. In Southern California, the scooters were found at the bottom of canals and in interlocked mounds 10 feet meters high. There have been websites created to document the most creative vandalism that have been performed on the scooters. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> International. Bird expanded overseas into France and Israel in August 2018 and later into Belgium and Austria the following month. In October 2018, Bird entered the Mexican marketplace by expanding into Mexico City, and also entered Switzerland by releasing scooters in Zurich. During the same month, Bird announced plans to expand into Brazil. In November 2018, Bird started a test trial in London in the United Kingdom by the introduction of electric scooters for restricted use within Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park, which is considered as private property. 
Under current laws, electric scooters are not considered to be street legal under the UK Road Traffic Act 1988 and cannot be ridden on public streets. At the same time, electric scooters cannot be ridden on public footpaths or pavement known as sidewalks in the United States under the Highway Act 1835. Topic. See also Jump bikes Lime Transportation Company Spin Scoot Networks <laughs>